Hey guys, what's up? Apple Fanatic, and today I have a tutorial on how to calibrate your MacBook battery. Um, this will work for any Apple uh, laptop, so MacBook Pro, iBook, MacBook Air, PowerBook, or MacBook. Um, this will also work for any handheld device you may have from Apple, so iPad, iPod Touch, or iPhone. This will work. Um, so it's pretty simple. You don't need any programs. Um, you could use one program I'll recommend later. But for this to work, you really don't need any programs. You just need patience and about 12 hours of where your computer won't be used um, for heavy usage. So let's get started. The um, first thing you're going to want to do is to make sure your computer is fully charged up. So um, make sure it's at 100%, not 99, not 98. And if it's at either 99 or 98 and it's saying that it's fully charged, unplug your um, computer from its charger uh, until it goes below 95% then plug it back in and it should hit 100% then. When is it, once it's hit 100%, make sure it is charged at 100% for at least two hours. Uh, it's safe to do between two and five hours. If you had it for a couple days, then don't worry. Um, but if you haven't had it plugged in and you just plugged it in, make sure it's plugged in between two and five hours. And then once that's done, what you're gonna wanna do is pull it out, um, that being the plug, and let it drain down 100%. Um, and basically, if you don't want it to have any interruptions, so you don't want your computer to go to sleep, you don't want to shut it, you don't want to power it down, you want to, you can use it normally during this time, you can turn the brightness full up, you just want it to get down to 100% without any interruption whatsoever. So for that to work, unless you plan on spending between 3 and 10 hours at your computer without getting up, I recommend you either go ahead to your system preferences, go to screen and desktop and go oops um not that go to power saver so um energy saver go ahead and while it's on battery it will um select display sleep you can actually crank that up to never or and computer sleep you can crank it up to uh never and that will prevent your device from going to sleep or you can download a free program from the app store called caffeine and basically what this does is enables your uh, computer to not lose your wireless signal and it also enables it not to go to sleep or display sleep so basically you can leave your computer running and it won't cause any damage as long as you're not um, it won't cause any damage at all um, and you can go downstairs or you can go do something go to bed and it will just leave your computer running constantly without any worry to have to make sure it's sleep not sleeping um, so once it's done not once it's done draining completely um, you're going to get a, um, or once it hits around 5%, you're going to get a message that says your device is running a reserve battery. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and save all your work. Continue using your computer until it shuts off. Um, it goes into a uh, sleep mode. And um, then at that time, you're going to want to leave your computer open. And you're going to want to let it drain completely for 5 hours. So basically, you're going to want to make sure you don't touch your computer. Don't plug it in. Just let it drain for 5 hours nothing connected, make sure everything's unconnected, and like I said, drain for five hours or more, just not less. So basically, uh, a good night's sleep, you will be able to do that. And then um, after five or so hours, you're gonna wanna go ahead and plug it back into your desktop, I mean into your laptop, or your uh, device, your portable device, and let it charge 100% up without any interruption. So no, um, no unplugging, no shutting down, no, uh, no um un just basically no unplugging just let it if you're gonna leave it to sleep let it sleep for the five hours until it's charged or if you're gonna use it make sure it uses up to the five hours it's charged so no um use it till it's 60 percent then shut the lid or shut it off just either use it till it's 100 percent or let it rest for 100 percent that way there's no um inconsistencies with the battery and you should notice a substantial difference um calibrating your battery actually doesn't make it last longer it makes it read uh the battery indicator reads more accurate. It will it helps with battery life, but it's not basically it doesn't really it doesn't do so. It doesn't really change how much your battery has for juice left. It just makes it so it reads it better. So if you have a MacBook that you got two months ago and it's saying it's at sixty percent health, go ahead and calibrate it and it'll probably bump it up to 90 percent health, and then you can calibrate it again and it will probably bump up to 90 or 100% health. You know, it's just to make sure it's reading and getting the full potential out of the battery without it dying. Makes sense. 
Um, so I recommend calibrating your battery. If you calibrate it once a month, it's good. At very minimal, month and a half. Uh, I mean, very maximum, month and a half. Don't go more than a month and a half. Um, for battery usage, unplug your computer at least twice, uh, three times a week. Let it drain down completely. I don't mean um, calibrate it, but let it go down to below 10%. Then you can charge it back up just to keep the uh, ions moving because uh, the electrons moving because you don't keep them moving. They will become stagnant and eventually they will not work. And that's when you get a battery that is very short on life. Um, if you have a battery that's short on life, uh, remember that all batteries do eventually lose um, the ability to hold a charge. If you have a 2006 MacBook that holds a 10 minute charge, Calibrating, it's not going to really do much. You're going to want to go ahead and replace that. You get them for 50, 60 bucks off eBay, uh, brand new. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, sorry about that. That was my dad. If you heard, he's watching a movie. Great for him, right? Um, so that's pretty much it. Go ahead and subscribe to me, and I will do a tutorial and some other cool things. Link will be in the description for caffeine, um, or the name will be. And you can just go in the app store. It's a freeware. Just download it. Um, and it, you can just put it in your dock and it will be good to go. If you have any questions, like I said, this will work on all devices, iBook, MacBook Air, PowerBook, MacBook, MacBook Pro, along with iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch. I'm actually doing all my devices tonight and I'm going to charge them all up. Um, so I hope this helped. If it didn't, sorry guys. If it did, hope it, thanks. Um, so for Apple Fanatic, this is me saying peace and I hope this helped.